Off the jump, the Nuggets and Wolves game started with a massive throat punch. Cat with the pump fake and gets a compliment he never ever thought he would receive. And a foul! Right there, that's called getting skinny. Okay, the Nuggets are icing ball screens, which means to force the dribbler away from the middle of the court. Mike Conley takes the space given to him and hits Gobert inside, who awkwardly catches this thing. I have no idea why there are a total of nine Denver Nuggets feet inside the paint from Rudy's epic paint touch, but this forces Denver to be out of position, leading to this. Takes the three, penetrates inside with Murray defending. And one! Huh? At this point, Nuggets fans awkwardly nervous. Nuggets, though, respond. Murray hits Jokic up top and looks to run a dribble handoff, but cuts back door to the rim. Look at this pass leads to Gobert sliding over to Jamal, who fakes the ball up high to bring Rudy's hands up in order to wrap it around his back. This, though, is an example of why NBA teams fear the T-Wolves this season. Look at this transition D. Every single player sprinting back. Caldwell Pope is so wide open, but look at how Ant angles his body to force Murray back the other direction. Nuggets drive and kick it back out. Mismatches everywhere. Jaden McDaniels versus Joker fully absorbs the bump. Carl Anthony Towns is on Aaron Gordon, takes on the Rudy Gobert role to perfection as he collapses down inside to help on Joker. Holy cow. Bless this man pumping the crowd up for recycling. Oh my gosh, we get it. Hey, 72, which is a play I absolutely love. T-Wolves run a pick and roll with the two guards to get Murray switched on to Ant. The problem is that Michael Porter Jr. can step inside to help because he is two passes away. He's the low man on the weak side. Minnesota swings it to Cat. So now watch Porter as he has to get closer to his man. One pass away. As soon as that happens, Ant goes to set a screen up top, but actually fakes it and spins back to the rim. This lady, not so happy about this one. Mm. This is how Joker baits steals. On the pick and roll, he gets his hands up in Conley's face, which baits a pass low. And then he quickly moves his hands low to get that beautiful steal. Then we get a five on three for the Nuggets. And what do the Wolves do? You know it, hustle. Murray gets a wide open three. Cat does a great job full sending it to Murray to take away that three. So he gets him with the pump fake. Guess who is already back? Jaden McDaniels, five on three, officially stomped out. But once again, mismatches all over. MPJ versus Rudy Gobert time. Porter Jr., who averaged 23 against the Lakers in the first round, works on Gobert. The dance, the drive, and a feed. It's high. Denver would climb back into this game after a timeout, especially with their D. Ben. Alexander Walker having a hard time. Jackson has a two on one. Hold on for power. Oh, just jackhammered it in. Everyone is pumped. Dang right. Good job. Then we get Kyle Anderson doing Kyle Anderson types of things. Gets called for a travel. How's that a travel? And as my good friend Lloyd Christmas says, and totally redeemed yourself. Nuggets icing those screens so Anderson slips. Anderson takes oh, it collision. Oh. Defensive intensity picking way up. Aaron Gordon all over Cat. Don't you call that caper. Aaron Gordon, look at this. That's going to be a war all series long. That is the by Gordon. Two on one. Christian Pratt. Minnesota comes right back at the Nuggets now, who are trying to run a stack or a Spain pick and roll. First screen does nothing. Second doesn't either. KCP goes for a third screen and just decides to slip out this time. T-Wolves still recover, so the Nuggets try a fourth screen with Joker this time. Rudy is pressuring him, so he counters with a beautiful spin move. But as all the teams are finding out, now you have to deal with another seven-footer as Towns is already at the rim, forcing a travel. Nuggets fans refusing to applaud good defense by opposing teams. Pick and roll at the top. The Nuggets trap Anthony Edwards to get the ball out of his hands. Go bear beautiful read on the short roll. Reverse pivots back to Cat, who once again is a seven footer shooting 41% from three this year. Holy moly. Nuggets can play a little chess as well. That cut by Caldwell Pope puts Conley as the low man now, which means less shot blocking. A little inverted pick and roll, putting both seven footers in the action. With Jokic taking it up. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, he was flying. The T-Wolves run a little horns out action, which is a flare screen for Cat, who gets the smaller defender on him now, and he shoots right over the top. So exact 
same play next trip down, it gets the exact same switch. This time Murray has to get his hands up to prevent the three. Carl Anthony Towns can now attack. Two, I'll take three. Denver's been a good third quarter team this season off the baseline. Oh yeah. Then we get to that moment that at this point in the game, pretty much blew up the entire third internet. With the third best road record. The 26 wins, good fake quarter. Got it from Jokic. Knocked away by Edwards. Down court Towns. Raising a jam and a foul. Oh, what a play in transition by Minnesota. The defensive block with the left hand, I might add you. Yeah, shh, stop it. Landon, don't do that. But Landon did do that, which very likely inspired this. Murray accelerates to the rack. Oh, no. Defensive reads Gobert makes blows my mind. Watch him as he covers Gordon, he sags off and he knows that he's been in the key for three seconds, but he notices Reed start to front Jokic. Murray is also smart. He's waiting for Gobert to step out as well, but when Gobert actually does that, he immediately backpedals, baiting him and getting a steal, which would actually lead to a nasty push and transition. The steal, three on two, Reed in front. And Jack hammers it in. Nuggets cheer team member would try to duplicate the hustle, but uh, okay. Mike Malone would decide to go to an epic half court play call here. Nuggets open the fourth with Oklahoma action that was featured in the Mind of the Game podcast with LeBron James. All right, here's one for you. All right, so if CP comes off of Clay yep. and comes off of Trace Jackson Davis, what is going to happen? A rescreen for Clay. Yeah. So we get that same double screen at the top. Cat is in that drop. Then a second screen is set by Aaron Gordon. Great look for Michael Porter Jr. that just barely missed. Then we get some of the goodest fourth quarter highlights I think I've seen in these playoffs. Conley, and who performs under pressure. What a luxury to have. Murray oh. foul. Foul on Towns, number five. What a shot by Murray. The way the pass. Retrieved by Edwards. Gordon is on him. Shot clock at seven. He'll dance. Great cut over. And a shot. Good. What a play. 35 for Anthony Edwards. He'll come the other way. It's a three. Oh, comes in. Pira shoots. And down it goes. Up in the Murray out the read. Three to five. Three. Another one. Another one. 14 in this fourth quarter, he has exploded. Time out. Nuggets dance team would twirl the baton of destiny, hopefully to inspire their players. T-Wolves coaches don't care. Three minutes to go. We got two timeouts to burn. Okay, so we will get yourselves yeah, all out. We got timeouts to get y'all rest. Oh, defensive play of the game. The Nuggets run their famous three-man elbow action between Murray, Jokic, and Gordon, which most people consider to be unstoppable. Gobert has to step up to guard Joker and once again completely baits him into making this pass as he backpedals for his third block of the night. I love the little details here. Did you notice how Edwards waved Towns to get to the other side of the floor? Get out of here, man, because he knew exactly the move that he wanted to do as he actually spins into that space. And obviously Aaron Gordon isn't there now to block the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Coach is just stoked about the video that I made about the Timberwolves beating the Lakers. 